Super Hikiyami Moriko Turbo HD Remix. Hello, Minasan. Hikiyami Moriko this, and welcome to another indie game. This one's called The Boy and His Story Prototype. It's a prototype version, I guess, right? Uh, disclaimer this game was not made for those under uh, 13 or those who are easily disturbed. This game may contain heavy topics. I really don't know. I'm making up 80% of the story as I'm making this the game lol. <laughs> okay. Quite a bit of swearing and more than likely lots of immaturity. If any of these things bother you or you're under the age, I advise deleting the game. Or if you really don't care, then enjoy the quick demo prototype. Nope, this game is free. If you got this from anywhere else that is in itch.io or you had to pay for it, you got scammed. I advise you get your money back if you paid for it. That's good advice, right? So this is a very early prototype. We can see it down here. I will, actually, you cannot see it because I'm blocking it. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah. It's a very, very early prototype, right? Uh, but should be good, should be interesting to see. I'm already surprised by the um, cap FPSs and max FPS here. I don't know. I don't know why the game has that, but quite interesting. Uh, press C to continue, okay? This game may, may contain flashing lights for ease of the eyes. Looking options menu controller is highly recommended. All right. Made with Game Maker. Kappa Nerd. Now playing Solemn. I hopefully that's not by. Oh, it's made by Kapaner too, right? So it's not copyrighted because the developer made it. Really nice. You know, I love me some... Uh, I'm gonna up the volume of the game a little bit. You know, I love me some music made by the developers. Always great to, to see that. The boy and his store. Whoa. Jesus main menu. Don't scare me like that. Press enter. All right. I quite like this, this main menu. Well, it got even better. But there's so much to do with... With main menus and people usually don't do anything with main menus. Let's start a new. Wait, let me check. Wait, why is that? Where's the arrow in the middle? Oh, actually, it recommended a, a gamepad, right? So I guess I will be playing with the keyboard. Control how low the game's music is. Change audio settings, visual, music, master. I, I get everything. I guess everything is okay. Uh, let's see visual. What can, what can I do in visual? Simplifies BFX, screen shake, particles. Okay. Quite the customization available, but I will just go as it is. Let's start a new game. What is your name? That's a good question. Uh, Maybe a little bit of like, like, beep, when you select like the, the letter would be nice. Uh, confirm. I mean, this, this already looks so good. Is this name correct? Oh, look at, look at the name. Yes, it, it, it's, it's correct. All right. I guess I'm falling down to hell or <laughs> something. Okay, something else. I don't know what kind of game this is. I just... Like, it looked amazing from the itch.io page, and I was like, yeah, I want to play this, and I just grabbed the game. I haven't read the itch.io page. I'm gonna do it at the end of the video. Alright, seems like it's raining, and I'm... Oh, press C. Well, somehow I survived... Wait, what, what happened to my face? Oh, that's my hair. Okay, yeah. Can I, can I move? Hello? Back here. I guess I fell asleep in the car. Is this my dream world? Why does it look like this, the building like structures? A whole ass pathway. A whole ass pathway, alright. Vaulting structures, rain, thunder. This is not the landscape I'm familiar with. I'm sure just floating in the air with endless static around me. Maybe it's because we are in the car? There's a lot of stuff up ahead. No, the new structures make this place look less spooky. I guess since I'm here, I might as well see what else exists. Who knows, maybe I'll see some new stuff. Right? Alright. I mean, it's, it's a little like I'm skating. It feels like I'm skating a little bit. Oh, I can double jump. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, the camera goes a little bit flunky when I, when I land, right? 
Yeah, it, it gets a little bit clunky when I... Like, it just tries to stabilize the shot, right? Yeah, okay. What is this? Space. Use the arrow keys to move. Thank you. So this is a proper tutorial. Oh. I feel like the character is going too fast. Press C to jump. But maybe that is needed. I, I have to... Light for what I can see. Uh. Just press C while in mid-air to double jump. Right? What? What happened there? Oh, I can... Oh, nice, nice, nice. This seems to be a platforming game, which I'm very bad at, but looks nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was cool, that was cool. I wanna do it again. I wanna do it again, I wanna do it again. Nice. Wait. Hold down and press X in me there to stomp. Whoa. Wait. Alright. So... Jump. Whoa. The animations are on point. See that? Looks really good. I'm a big fan of, of like, if you press double down, it, it smashes. Also, you kind of get stuck in this animation. Like, and like this one, you cannot cancel it. While on the ground, after stomping, hold left or right and press space to do a slam dash. Ooh, complex mechanics. Sign me in. Wait, how I do it again? While on the ground, after stomping, hold left or right and press space. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. That seems kind of... Whoa, 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 I cannot stop. Wait, what's happening? No, let me go back. Let me go back. I just give like half of the... You cannot cancel this animation. What just happened? I'm here, right? Yeah, I feel like I... That, that was way too fast. What is this? Pick up speed and press down to slide, right? I, I feel like I picked too much speed. Or if there's no room to gain speed, stay still, hold down and press C to slide. Okay, if there's no room, you can still. That's nice. It prevents problems. Press the space while sliding. Oh, okay, so I cancel it with speed. The controls seem a little bit complicated. I know it's recommended to play with, with controller, right? But... I feel like maybe C, X, and, and, and C instead of spacebar would be nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I feel like this is going way too fast. This is a checkpoint. You'll respawn here. You fall off the level and lose an extra life, which is the only way to die for now. The only way to die. Falling from... From a peak. Ah, he just he sits around if I don't move. So don't fall down. Right, got it. Sometimes gaps are too big. Pick up speed and jump, then press the space to air dash. Whoa, 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 air dash. Nice. Alright, let's see, let's see. Whoa, that, that was nice, that was nice. I insist, it's a little too fast to control. Checkpoints are one time used until you re enter a room. You'll likely not encounter a checkpoint in the overworld again, though. Alright. While against a wall, hold left and right on the arrow keys, depending on what side of the wall you're on, and slide. Alright, so just. Wait. It's 
kind of complicated to do. Again, probably uh, a game that it's recommended for a reason. All right. Whew. I feel like, like, this is like, it feels a little bit like Sonic, and you know how much I suck at Sonic games by now, right? Actually, yeah, when he jumps, he turns into like a, like a ball, right? It, is this game inspired by Sonic? It feels like it's, yeah, it, it's, it picks up the speed. Yeah, it's, it's Sonic. It's a Sonic game. Damn it. It is a Sonic game. It's a launcher ramp. It launches you at a set speed. And it, this is Sonic. Jesus Christ, this is Sonic. You know what I have to do now? Running around as a <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, this is Sonic! I didn't read that one. Oh my god, this is Sonic. This is so much Sonic, I can't believe- This is so cool, by the way. I like it. Sometimes at the end of a rail, a prompt will show up if you press space while on the prompt is there. You'll all, you'll do a rail jump. After that, you can do an air trick. What is this? A, a cooler Sonic? But can I try to do it on the on that rail before? Wait, I want to go the other way around. Wait, I didn't. I didn't do it. Yeah, I feel just like Sonic games, I think I'm having trouble managing the speed of this game. Okay, I cannot do that. Um... Alright! This game, it's, it's truly... How, how do I do this? Yeah. Very well done, very well done, I like it. I mean, I'm not a big Sonic fan, but this is really well done. This is a launcher ring, they work identically to launcher rounds, so you can just... Turn to the... <laughs> thank you, thank you. I can do it. Maybe I cannot put two and two together. Damn it. Maybe I cannot put two and two together. I feel like I'm missing something. Why am I shining? Alright. I didn't know you could do that. Apparently you can't do it. Wait, what happened? Did I die? I don't think I died. Did I die? Did that kill me? Oh. Hate. People like to say that hate is a strong word. People objectify hate as if it's powerful. A word that some would alien, uh, deem most of other uh, others is often put incorrectly. Or at the very least, way too loosely. Who? Who the hell is talking? The fact that you can use it so loosely, it's alarming. For such a short word, it really is powerful. All things considered. Right? For you. Like, the, the, the Kirby tree? This tree. It looks exactly like the tree house. Back at home. Only without the, you know, house. It gives me a familiar sense. A sense of safety. Game trees like these are known as safe trees. These trees allow you to save your game or let you rest. They also respawn where you last save if you die in the overworld and there are any checkpoints. For now, would you like to save? Yes. Mind big tree. 
right? Thank you, Victory. I feel like this is a mix between, I don't know, I get the feeling like Sonic had a baby with like Undertale, right? As you, ah, damn it. <laughs> Am I gonna explode like Mega Man? Bro. <laughs> This game just didn't just bro me for dying. I love it. I love it. As you know, I'm not a huge either Sonic or Undertale fan, but somehow this game it's fun. Oh. This is a stage door. You just stand in front of it, you'll see info for that very stage. But stages comes a ranking system which is a visual indicator of how well you played in any given stage. I'm gonna suck at this. There are two versions of stage, speed and action. For now, there are only speed stages with focus on fast movement and platforming. My worst enemies. You'll be timed while the speed stages we will then determine your rank. Nothing else matters only than going fast. You gotta go fast then? But that being said, I got right at this stage right here. Now the stage is saved in a file separate from your main file, so make sure to save on your own. Make me, I'm gonna go away. Be the stage to proceed. You cannot make me do anything. Oh, actually, I think you can. Invisible wall, okay. Green hills, I mean mine. One. Two, one, go! Whoa. Oh, damn it. I did it anyway. Oh, damn it, damn it. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I died. Bro. <laughs> Are you gonna bro me again? Damn. Oh, it changes. Nice, 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 nice. That was close. Damn it. Ah, damn it. My ability at this game, it's not an accurate representation of anything. I just don't know how to play Sonic games. Alright, I'm getting better at least. Just a little bit. Did it? Did it? Goal. Like an F or something. Yeah, I got an F, right? F. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, nice, nice music. If you excuse me, I'm just gonna continue. Nice results of screen. I like it. Now allow me to continue. Gotta say, very complete experience, right? I was expecting because it was a, like a prototype game that will be just like bare bones, but this is more complete than full games I have played. And honestly, I just think this game needs a little bit of tweaking in the in the speed of the character and like the, the camera, but overall, it's good to go, man. It, it's good to go. It's like, it's like edgy Sonic. I think Sonic is pretty edgy as it is, right? But this is like, like a different kind of edgy. And I don't mean that as a bad thing, by the way. Again, it's not my kind of, of game, like Undertale or Sonic, but I can, I can recognize like, a fun game when I see one, when I play one.
I really can't see this game going places. You know, like like having a, like a cult following or stuff like that. I haven't seen much of the story yet, but... Oh, so that's a, like, okay, that's the next part of the stage, right? Oh, 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 tree, 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 tree. I guess this is gonna be a recurring thing. I just think, I, I've been lied to, someone told me this was a prototype. It doesn't feel very prototype -y. it feels pretty complete. Oh. Is there's nothing in here? That feels so satisfying to do. I thought I thought I was dead for a moment. Damn it! If you try to do this too fast, you fall down. I'm gonna get stuck in here forever. Damn it! Let's try again. Yeah, once you start falling down, you're gonna fall down, doesn't matter what you do. It's like, it's like, while jumping doesn't give you any momentum, just works with the momentum you have, so the moment you lose momentum, you fall down. And it will sometimes just do like a double jump instead of... Yeah, in, instead of actually doing the wall jump, it will just do a, a double jump and you're gonna lose the momentum anyway. What else can I do? Damn it, that was so close! Oh, damn it, I did. Whew. That was close. Another one? Very cool the movement of the character once stage is starting. But why is this character fast? I, I want to know. Seems like the kind of character that would use a skateboard or something. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's just an indication to slide down. I don't know what that was. Nice. Like I'm going backwards. Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. supposed to do this? I got a D already. Okay, so I have to press space and up. Yeah, I, I think the wall jumping could use a, a refining a little bit. <laughs> I'm just bad at this, I have to mention that. So I, I guess the answer is for me to just get good. 
I guess this game could be called like like Sonic the Edgehog. Maybe not. That was a terrible joke, probably. Am I not going backwards? I don't know, like, all of this looks the same. I guess not, that's a checkpoint. Listen, I could play this for the rest of my life and I don't think I will ever get a, a NES. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab up speed. Exactly. Let's do this again. I feel like not moving during that, it's it's the best first of action. Wait, I have to damn it, I'm dead, right? Yeah, I'm dead. Also I don't think you need to put the uncap FPS and stuff like that. Well you continue, your last save will be loaded. Yeah, I don't think the FPS and max FPS thinks it's necessary. It's actually a little bit distracting. Well, I have to start from here. You know what? I, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna leave the game here. Uh, the game looks amazing, plays really good. Obviously, there's some like like balancing to do. I won't say improvements because the game it's it's good as it is. Uh, obviously, I'm really bad at this game. I don't think as as someone that it's not a big fan of Sonic games, and I'm not a big fan of games like Undertale and stuff like that. I don't think I'm the right person to judge this game as it is, right? So I'm just gonna go and uh, read the each page, and I'm gonna finish the stream, right? It says, after falling asleep in your father's car, you wake up in a familiar area and you recognize you are in your mind. But instead of floating in static void, there's floors and buildings like structures saying that this new to, uh, as this is new to you. You decide to explore the weird uh, side of your mind, but sometimes that isn't always favorable, right? Uh, I, maybe this is like when, you, when you're like sleeping, like half asleep on the car and you imagine someone jumping on the, on the buildings. Maybe it's like that, I don't know. Uh... This game is heavily inspired by all by many other games like Sonic. <laughs> it shows. Uh, Under oh Undertale and Delta Run. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I don't think I'm the right person to, to play this game. It's also currently a prototype, although it feels really complete. Some of the assets are likely to change in the future updates. It has con uh, support for Xbox controller. Uh, which I don't have, so I cannot play with controller. Gives you the controls. And more controls are, are explained in game. I think look. I'm of the opinion that not every game is for everyone. Obviously, games have audiences and stuff like that. But even if I'm not a big fan of the Sonic gameplay and of the Undertale aesthetic, I recognize greatness in this game, right? Like, obviously, while jumping needs needs work because I I, I while jumping games since Mega Man X and it, it needs a little bit of maybe with, maybe with the gamepad it's better, right? Probably I don't know, but yeah, this needs a little bit of work, especially because this is a speed game, right? And you cannot be like failing on speed games with, with like n not perfect controls. Kinda reminds me of. Obviously, this is a prototype, right? E every piece of advice I give, it's probably also already being taken into consideration. Um, I'm thinking about games like like Celeste, right? Where you you have like these perfect controls for for doing perfect jump jumps and stuff like that. Um, Obviously, you, you know me, if you guys watch my, my Sonic Frontiers gameplay, 
I, I was not a big fan of the Sonic game. I, I don't do good in these side-scrolling speed matches. I, I'm just too bad at platforming. Uh, but then again, that I'm bad at the game doesn't mean that the game is bad. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drop it like this. Sorry, developer, I couldn't finish the prototype version. Uh, hopefully my advice is it's of any help for this game, because I can see this game being great and a lot of people enjoying this game. Uh, if you guys would like to try this game, the link will be down in the description with all the games I have played before. You know how to access it, right? You go into the description, you click the link, then you go to my itch.io page, you go to games I played, and it will be right there with a bunch of other games I played before. Uh, please give it a try. I don't want that. The fact that I couldn't finish this game uh, deter you from actually trying the game. So I feel I feel like if you like Sonic, it's it's a good game. If, if you don't like Sonic, it's a good game. If you like Sonic, it's an excellent game. And if you like Sonic and Undertale, man, this was just made for you, right? So you may as well give it a try if you enjoyed those two games. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, developer, for making the game. It was really fun, even if I didn't manage to finish it. And I will see you guys in the next indie game stream or whatever I decide to do with this channel. I'll see you later.